I will not advise nobody to go to this bank way. Because the journey, you know, is very hard, I can say that, you know, because sometimes we face a lot of hard things, you know. I must die when I see many dead bodies. Starting from beginner, you should have to face the, uh, the hard things, the beatings, hungries, killing, yeah, and looting. Because they are stealing people, then go and selling them. That that's, that in, is in Libya, selling people. But now I came back. Thank God, I'm in Gambia here, yeah, and I'm in my country. The Gambia is a small country, but statistics have shown as the second highest country um, of youths going through the back way to Italy. Many find themselves stuck in Tripoli. Looking at the sea here makes me think a lot about you know, illegal migration on the Bagway journey. I'm interested to um, investigate uh, and returnees and, and to know um, what they need as they are back in their country. I visited Manuel. Like many small villages in rural Gambia, it has been affected greatly by the bad way. I met with one returning Enza at his home. 2016 June now, mother. 2016 June. I'm not raising the daughter for two months. Two months, some weeks together, you know. We're not a month transfer over the daughter. We're not even nine months together. Yeah, I choose the poor canal moon now for um, you force the poor canal moon. Yeah, the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, I'm close to the pictures. I'm not going to be able to do it. Yeah, because me what I did, I'm not going to be able to do it. I mean, okay, you are a bad person, well, you are a failure, mm -hmm. but you are great. Mm -hmm. You are back home, in other family, you are with your family, which is the most important thing. I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm not going to be able to do it. I was invited to join Enza as he visited his old school to talk to the students. So, from them, I've had different stories. Females will be abused totally when they start up this journey. You will be abused. Being it sexually or any other type of abuse, you will be abused. That is obvious. We have a long way to go as young women and men. As young Gambians, as students of your age, you have a lot of things to achieve. Yeah, and that's an advisement being out there. Yeah? After the school, we went with Ensa to his father's farm. I love I love any hope for like in the future or a next year for that? 
Kira mo na GP pa nga life You can do it Ngayon na ko Apart from kasuha niya Ito mo na ito na Apart from kasuha niya Yeah, and the business and more of what you're doing Business, yeah Yung buko, life business na yun I mean like, work to roll and then building materials so I don't know how all of them are just not it out. I was interested to meet some of the agencies who are responsible for helping returnees like ENSA. The migrant returnees. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very concern to the Gambia government and uh, these are our own young brothers and sisters who came back to the country and uh, they find it very difficult to integrate within the society. Mm -hmm. Instead of academic education, we also need to involve this, uh, this training, this, this skills work. Once you are skilled, you will be able to be self-employed and you are also able to help others. Look at the scene mm -hmm. and look at that angle and you push it ah. gently. You don't pu push it with force. Gently. Photocopy and printer repair is a rare skill in the Gambia and there is yeah. high market for it. Right now we have one returning here but the other classes like TV repairs, mobile phone, tablet repairs, web designing, all of this section we have returnees. We could have had more of them. We got 210 people who came for the interview. Majority of them are returnees. But we cannot accommodate all of them on the program because we are only spot we only sponsor 30 people. We need more funding to accommodate all the number of returnees that are interested to join us on the program. Uh, government is working through different agencies and projects to ensure that returnees have livelihood opportunities, skills training opportunities. Mm -hmm. And of course, others are also uh, directed to benefit from other microfinance schemes like the mini grant of YAP. What extra support can the government give to those in the rural areas? The main we recommend is to ensure that this um, supports are upscale, that so that it can reach more young people, it can reach more returnees. Yes. That we were look expecting 1,500, and this has doubled to about 3,000. You know, return is only from Libya. So we, these institutions, public agencies and training institutions will need capacity to respond to the needs of these returnees. We need to unite, we need to come together so that we'll be able to have a single voice so that government could support us as suspected but we'll also be able to help one another as young people who are working together to address the root causes of migration, but also to effectively integrate our brothers and sisters who have been returned from Libya. The Global Hands Development Hub in Mandua is one initiative that is providing support to young people in rural areas. Enza was invited to visit to get involved in one of their projects. It's not easy, but we want to have a name for the place. A product from a Manwa Development Hub to the international market will be very good. This is just the start. So we are proving the concept and the current concept has been proven already. I have learned a lot through investigating this issue and I am more motivated than ever to support young returnees like ENSA. I have realized that with the right support, these returnees can play a crucial role in the future of my country, the Gambia.